हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू एक्सोटिक एस्ट्रोलॉजी हमारा वीडियो व्हाट आर वी गोना डिस्कस टुडे योर राइट टुडे इज फ्राइडे सो लेट अस डिस्कस अबाउट वीनस व्हाट इज वीनस वीनस इज लव रोमांस हैप्पीनेस फुलफिलमेंट कंटेंट मटेरियलिस्टिक प्लेजर mundane comforts relationships women and men for women and if you have still not subscribed to my channel then please subscribe to it and click in the notifications button so that you keep getting the updates and today before beginning as usual i keep saying god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will be there okay today i was thinking to speak on venus but in the purview of the law of abundance what do you mean by law of abundance what is abundance basically abundance basically means abundance <laughs> it's basically having everything that satisfies you right and abundance for everybody abundance for all that is the law of nature but then many a times in our life we feel there is no abundance there is scarcity scarcity of this scarcity of that and we are we are thinking why is this happening to me scarcity of money scarcity of relationships scarcity of friends scarcity of food scarcity of health scarcity of mental peace scarcity of job satisfaction so many things we have in our life which is not giving us fulfillment why is it because we have not practiced the law of abundance what is law of abundance law of abundance simply means that whenever you get something give it back take give take give take give i have gained some tiny form of knowledge from somewhere about spirituality about astrology that's what i'm sharing with you similarly you can also do with others you can also write in the comments what are your realizations about life about death <laughs> about love about romance about happiness about fulfillment about god why not so what is basically law of abundance law of abundance means that the more you give the more you get and the more it's to the other way around also the more you get more you should give <laughs> if you do not do this then maybe the nature will say oh i have given you so much but you don't seem to value it that is why i had made a video on gratitude recently and we all should practice gratitude writing on a book every day morning and night before sleeping and after getting up that will help us to count our blessings in life and by that when we do it constantly regularly it becomes a inner programming inside it becomes a attitude it is not gratitude anymore it's attitude it is the way we see life the way we progress in life the way we proceed towards anything in life that is what gratitude becomes ultimately so the law of abundance is built upon the law of the function of gratitude if there is no gratitude you cannot make the law of abundance work it is not possible because you are not setting the stage where the law of abundance can act okay for example whenever you get some knowledge share it share it with others it can be on anything 
of course that does not mean that you have to give unprecedented advice to people it does not mean that if somebody is asking you can tell them or when you meet friends share with them instead of you can also talk on the normal issues which we talk with friends cinema politics etc etc but when we get something concrete some substantial knowledge we get which has been proving very much valuable to ourselves we should try to give it to others depending on their situation depending on their level for example if you find that for example astrology transforms your life how because you have come to know yourself more yes you have come to know your weaknesses after learning astrology after knowing how your planets are behaving who are the planets actually your strengths and weaknesses basically they the, the, those are your planets right so then when you learn something for example if you learn your saturn is in a particular position and then doing this helped you to mitigate the difficulties the challenges of the existing saturn then what you should do you should tell it to others that yes my saturn which represents my discipline my duty my work my structure my commitment has undergone these problems and how did i overcome it yes that can be through any remedial measure or by your self efforts or through meditation or through reading the holy books or by knowing more about what saturn wants us actually to do it can be any it can be by any means or it can be by the divine blessing of some great soul some saint or or maybe by the love of somebody it can be by any means that you have improved on your planets your areas basically but you should try to share it with others okay because when you are doing that then the nature will send you things which you can share with others more and the more you are sharing with others what does it mean it simply means that you have so much how will you share something if you don't have if i have 10 euros in my account how will i do a charity of 20 euros is it possible it's not possible right maybe i may do up till 9 euros or maybe the whole 10 euros but i can't do it more than that so when you are having gratitude for the things that you have in life then you practice the law of abundance automatically how much ever you have you want to give to the nature to universe to those who have helped you let me give some examples for example if you have taken education from somebody it can be any mundane education or spiritual education or astrological education any any anything it can be on medical science or on computer science programming or business or marketing or anything it can be architecture or sports you have a coach or you go to the gym or whatever it is or some knowledge on agriculture how to plant strawberries i used to do that in my childhood i used to love strawberries even now i love it but those days were different the enthusiasm which i had in 2004 roughly that was quite a high enthusiasm in india now when you practice the law of, uh, law of abundance what happens is you get and then you give because when you are giving away the things that you have okay then you are creating space for new things to come because the law of energy has to be balanced otherwise there cannot be harmony so if you are giving something to somebody the nature has to give to you as i was giving the example of whichever domain you are connected to or whichever knowledge or whichever information that you have got try to give back something to that person or to that organization or to that domain or to that group or to that senior or to that junior or to that equal and that starts with anybody today you can call up some of your teachers from your school 
and you can tell them that thank you very much sir because of you i have got this knowledge of how to solve mathematics algebra doing this doing that if you would not be there how would i know yes and then you can call somebody because primarily we are we were connected to our teachers right because from them we had got initial bit of information and knowledge and wisdom and primary source is the father or the mother or your brother or your sister or your uncle or your aunt depending on who you are close to in the family they can give you information they can give you knowledge they can uplift you they can give you wisdom they can make you happy so when that happens you go and thank them and not only you just thank them you ask them how can i repay you because in ancient india there was this tradition of guru dakshina guru is the teacher the master the person who gives you knowledge and dakshina means charity so when you would take training under a guru you would go and give him some charity and you would give whatever the guru would ask the guru will not ask you have to go and tell you have to go and ask what do you want then the guru will say okay you can give this to me in the mahabharat there is the example the pandavas and kurus were the disciples of dronacharya or students and then dronacharya wanted to take revenge from drupad i will go to the mahabharat later but i am just saying as a side step and then when the kurus and the pandavas they asked dronacharya what can we give you back and then dronacharya said you can give me uh, you can submit drupad to me and then the kurus went the kauravas went 100 of them along with karna and unfortunately they could not capture him because he was very powerful and then the five pandavas went including yudhishthir arjun nakul sahadev and bhima of course and then they captured him and brought him so this is, is what is called guru dakshina giving back something to your guru your preceptor who has taught you know who has taught you something who has given you knowledge yes that is very important otherwise the scriptures give the example that our condition becomes like a well which is very damp which is closed from years and centuries and the water inside is stinking it's bad water polluted water actually you can do nothing about it you simply cannot do anything about it you just have to throw it so that's what happens you see sometimes people have millions and millions of dollars in their account and they just simply die what what is the use of that money if you if you have just died that money could have helped so many of course that does not mean i am not saying give your entire money to charity but i am i'm specifying the attitude of giving away giving things to the society to the person who gave you and i have seen or when you do this you may not do it for the person or you can do it in general also like i am sharing this knowledge with you so then what happens the universe will give me more things to share that means i am growing internally i am growing inside every moment every second every minute every hour every day every year every muhurta i am growing muhurat in astrology <laughs> every nakshatra i am growing moon transits one nakshatra in one day so then what happens you grow every day because what you were yesterday and what you are today is not the same you are different you have grown and that is very important to understand that growth is very important otherwise you are stagnant you are stuck in one place and you were like what should i do i don't know that's why have you met people saying like this i feel i'm stuck in life i don't know where i am going i don't know what i'm doing i don't know what will happen to me it's all boring it's all over like this i don't want to live anymore and then go and commit suicide that's bad did your parents invest so much in you to see you getting hanged in the fan or to see you drinking that poison did your teachers give you education from the day one to see 
in the newspaper one day that oh my favorite student so and so he is no more he has committed suicide because depression suicide all this only comes when you are stagnant you are static you are not dynamic your life has halted that means the law of abundance is not working for you you are starving you are crying you are dying because you have deprived yourself of the benefits of giving giving can be any ways offering a helping hand to somebody it can be monetary ways it can be by any ways we are not concerned about how but we are concerned it should be by some means okay let me give you an example whenever i get any new technique in astrology i will always share it with somebody and that is why i don't know from somewhere somebody will call me and say oh we have got this technique new technique i just wanted to give you and then i will be like okay tell me what is the technique and then i will test it on some 10 horoscopes and i will be like oh yeah fantastic this is working i will not tell the techniques now we'll tell later but as of now what i am saying is that when you keep giving the things that you get nature keeps giving you more and more and more and more and when nature decides to give it will give you unlimited and the and i have realized in my personal experience in my limited experience of this world i have seen the moment i stop doing this the moment that tendency to hold comes oh that's it the universe withdraws everything what it gives me and the more i share the more people share with me because i always say balance has to be there so share abundantly give abundantly and receive abundantly so the more you are doing this the more you will be feeling that contentment inside otherwise you will be like oh why am i even living i don't i don't feel like living i don't feel like living and i just want to die <laughs> people can recognize your face when they see you you are limiting yourself you are putting thorns over your head because you think by giving something you will lose i know people who tell me that when they message somebody anybody boy girl whoever or friend they don't reply to us or they give very official replies or they reply in a way that makes you feel unwanted so when you do this with others the same thing happens with you yes have you experienced messaging people and not getting replies i have heard so many people going through that that experience of course this does not mean that if somebody is asking you how are you you have to write a 10 page long essay and send the balance has to be there you, you, you should reciprocate if the person is asking me how am i i should say yes i am good how are you how about you how is your life ask about him also because do you know this phrase how are you there are hundreds and thousands of people or maybe millions who die to hear this word this phrase how are you because how are you means the person who is asking you is concerned about you otherwise he will not be asking this you get it so if you get a message from somebody how are you consider yourself to be very fortunate and very lucky because everybody doesn't get these messages i don't get sometimes sometimes i get sometimes i don't there are so many people i know who call me and tell that oh as if they i don't i feel there's nobody for me in this universe nobody even ask am i alive am i living or am i dead so please reciprocate with people and the more you reciprocate the more nature reciprocates with you 
like for example there has never been a time in my case that somebody has messaged me and i have not replied to them and that is why even with me it happens very rarely that if i message somebody somebody doesn't respond but if somebody does like that with me i introspect inside maybe some day i would have done this to somebody that is why the person is behaving like this because the law of karma is there it has to balance out you understand law of abundance and the more you give the more you get the more you get the more you should give and best is if we can go and ask people how can we help you rather than being a self appointed person and thinking okay maybe this will help him suppose i want to please a person what should i do should i start assuming oh maybe the person likes chocolates maybe he likes chow me maybe or he likes tofu maybe <laughs> no directly go and ask him how can i help you how can i make you happy yes and when you do that the person also becomes happy and he feels yes there is some part of the burden of my life which he can share because everybody is having their burdens if you can share each other's burdens it's very good the more you share the burden of others the more others will share burden for you like recently there was a guy who i met from bangladesh he was undergoing some serious problem okay and then he told me that can you please be with me stay with me you know talk to me we'll sit together in the library and study i said uh, okay to whatever extent possible for me i will try my best to help you these are personal stories i love to tell so i went i sat with this person he was doing his research i was also doing my studies and we did all the things together and somehow i was successful in clearing his depression not clearing his depression but giving him a helping hand when he needed that's what we have to do we it is very difficult to cure somebody but at least we can try our best to make them not feel more lonely that time. some personal issue he was undergoing and then after 6 months january of this year this person came to me he said my work is finished i am done with my studies please tell me what i can do for you because of you i have finished this and i felt very happy that yes i did something good for somebody and then what this person did i said as of now i don't need it but if i need something i will contact you if i need some help so he said you don't have a website it seems you only have a youtube channel of course that time i didn't have the channel but i was planning to open it so he said you are planning to open a channel but what about your website are you making it or why don't you make it or, or why don't i make it for you he said like this and i said more oh, that's a fantastic idea you can make it <laughs> and then he decided to make it but then due to some reason that got delayed and very soon he will make it so you see i give him something and he is giving me back i did not tell him that oh i helped you now please help me now how ungrateful you are i didn't say i didn't have that expectation let go of that expectation that somebody will help you if you help them because if you have it then they even if they do it you will feel very dry inside but if you don't have that expectation and then you get you feel wow god is great otherwise you will keep cursing god every moment oh god you have never given me anything oh god you are like this you are like that do you even exist see that's the fun that's the scary part and the funny part whenever you get something you never thank god even if you do you do it very superficially even i 
But the moment something is taken away from you or you are in problem, you go to God in such a way that, oh my God, we have a long list today. Imagine there are two columns. In one column, there, there, there are people who, who have gone to God to express their gratitude of the things they have got since the time they have started breathing in this world. And there is another group, another queue where people are standing to complain what God took away from them. What do you think? Which of the two queues will be long, longer? We all know, right? The second one will be very long. And there will be hardly anybody who will go to express thank you. That is very bad. How will God feel? Yes. So the more you say thank you to God, to the universe, to the people around you, the more universe will give you chance to be thankful for, which is very important. And the more you will realize that, oh, life is great actually. And then others will see it on your face and they will say, oh, this is visible in your face. You are different. You are not like him. You are not like the others. There is something in you which is not there in others. Have somebody told you like, no, don't worry. They will start saying very soon. <laughs> so that's it from my side. I will end. Law of abundance. The more you give, the more you get and the more you get the more you are supposed to give okay and before ending as always remember this god is there with you all the time and he is especially there with you when you are expressing your gratitude to him for having a mother for having a father there are many people who have not had parents one of my friend his father when he was a child he the Terrorists had bombed his car and he died instantly. His mother had been a, a widow whole life, taking care of him and his sister. So he cannot go to God and say thank you, that, oh God, thank you for giving me, my, letting me see my father. Because he could not have that luxury. Most of us have had that luxury of having a mother and a father. There are people who don't have eyes. You may say, oh, what's so great about having eyes? But then, there are people who don't. And because of our false ego, our attitude, our arrogance, we do not see them, who do not have things. We will only see those who have more than us. Just see around how many things you have. Just see the sky, the nature, the people. If majority people are not good, you cannot sustain in this world. So go and thank everybody for being good, that you can go to the shop and come back. Of course, there can be somebody who, will go, who goes and murders you, but on a general context, people follow the laws of God and goodness of not hurting anybody. So we should be thankful to everybody. And even on an extreme sense, we should also be thankful to the person who does wrong for us. Because he is acting as an instrument to give us our own karma. That means our kar the negative karma is getting cleared, right? All thanks to the person. That means now the good will come. Yes. So that's it from my side. Signing off from Agnotic Astrology. And if you have any questions, queries or comments, and any sort of any word of gratitude for anybody. He can be anybody. Your mother or she can be your, uh, your, your, he can be your father or she can be your mother or your sister, your daughter, your wife or your brother. Anybody. Just write it down in the comment section and let me know. Okay. And that's it from my side. Bye-bye. See you.